Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, the danger of comparison. Pay careful attention to your own work, for then you'll get satisfaction of a job well done, and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else, for we are each responsible for our own conduct. Galatians 6, 4 through to 5. We all make comparisons in our lives. We probably look at somebody who's tall and somebody who's short, somebody who's fat and somebody who's slim. Yes, at some point in time, we've all made a comparison. However, there's a danger when we make comparison using the model that this world has designed. It is because of this model we have envy and we have jealousy. Sadly, we use the same model to judge our own children. There are many children right now who are depressed because their parents are disappointed in them because they didn't get to go to the school that their parents wanted them to go to. And their parents would go to the extent of letting their children know that they are unintelligent or, as we say in Jamaica, dunce. And in truth and in fact, many of us want our children to go to a certain school because we want to show off. Let's be real. Not because your child did not pass to go to a certain school doesn't mean that your child is unintelligent. Everyone learns differently. There are children who are academically inclined, they're very good at maths, English, and you name it. But then there are those who are of a different mindset. They might not be good when it comes to the academics, but they have a creative mind. Now, can we conclude that the one who knows the maths is more intelligent than the one who doesn't? According to the system, we would say yes, but that's not in line with reality. While going to school, I must admit, I did not do well in school, and the reality is... I hated school. I'm, I'm just going to be real with you. Now, because of how this system is designed, I grew up thinking I was unintelligent because I couldn't read as others were reading. I couldn't spell as others were spelling. I could not do maths like the others. While the teacher was there writing on the board, I had a different type of board, and that's boredom. Because while she was doing maths, I was wondering what makes a plane fly. My mind was a bit on the creative side. And so I didn't learn at the pace of everybody else. Now, according to the system, I would be labeled as a underachiever, but my life presently would prove that it is not so. Your child might not be in the school that you wanted, but your child can still shine. Get this, not every child is going to be a lawyer. Not every child is going to be a doctor. Yes, many times we put these burdens on our children without having a clue of what they really want to be. Everybody is educated differently. If Jesus called Matthew, Matthew would be able to tell him everything about taxing. But then if he asked Matthew to catch a fish, Matthew might have some problems. He would have to call for Peter, who was educated in that area. Instead of comparing your children to other children or to their other siblings, it's best if you find out what your child loves, what they are good at, and then encourage them in that area. Many times we cause our children to feel so hopeless, cause them to feel as if they're nobody, cause them to feel as if they'll never achieve anything or be anything because of the words that we speak out of our mouth. Your child might never be a lawyer or a doctor, but they just might be the world's next greatest inventor. They just might be an entrepreneur. Instead of letting your children feel small, build them, speak to their spirits. Understand this, there is a Peter and there is a Paul. Both are different. One was very educated, the other not so much. However, both served a great purpose in the kingdom. The quote of the day, find out what your child is good at, then help them achieve it. As you go today, go knowing that not only the teachers who have a responsibility for your children, but you have the greatest responsibility to speak life over your child. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Promise keeper, light in the darkness.